everyone. Welcome to today's webinar. My name is Susan Yang. I'm from Pisces Journal. Today, me and my colleague Perry Chen will share with you how to prepare lipid nanoparticles using PC Genome's nanogenerator FastS system. So first, what is lipid nanoparticles, LMPs? Lipids are amphiphilic molecules having hydrophilic head groups and lipophilic tails. When lipids dispense in water, they will self-assembling together to generate lipid bilayer structures. The figure shown here is illustrating the self-assembling of nucleic acid and lipid mixtures in aqueous environment with the help of cationic lipids or ionizable lipids. Nucleic acids can be encapsulated in the aqueous interior of lipid nanoparticles. This feature of lipid nanoparticles makes them perfect for drug delivery, especially for the delicate biomolecules such as RNA, mRNA, DNA, or proteins. Since the success of COVID-19 mRNA vaccines, more and more therapeutics and vaccines based on mRNA lipid nanoparticles have been developed. The table shown here represents the clinical trials of lipid nanoparticles vaccines against for infectious disease and cancers. The next question is how to prepare the lipid nanoparticles. Conventional methods including the film rehydration, solvent injection, However, these measures usually meet the problem of having a large PDI, which means the solution is heterogeneous, and also the reproducibility is very low. Extrusion is the traditional way to enhance the homogeneity of the LMP solution. However, it needs extra steps and is difficult to scale up. On the other hand, microfluidic mixer is a reliable and convenient way to prepare lipid nanoparticles. The schematic here shows you the mechanism of the microfluidic mixing method. Two steams, one is aqueous phase, including the DNA, mRNA, or protein, will mix with another steam, usually is lipids, in a thin mixing channel. By controlling the total flow rate of two phase, users can synthesize lipid nanoparticles in a consistent way. Usually higher flow rate will generate smaller particles. The homogeneity of microfluidic method is very good. The PDI generated by this method is usually below 0.2. PC genome provides a fast and reliable solution for lipid nanoparticle synthesis, which is we call it a nanogenerator. Nanogenerator contains a series of models for different application scenarios. Today, we will focus on the FASTS system. Nanogenerator FASTS system is the model designed for small scale production. Its working throughput is from 200 microliter to 500 microliter, which is perfectly for early discovery screening and small scale production. The main unit is called iFlow controller, which has integrated pumps, touch screen, and user friendly control system. You don't need to connect it to external computer, monitor, or air source. The FRESS system works perfectly by its own. The compact size and portable design allows it works in various environments, for example, in a biosafety cabinet. Next, Perry will show us a demonstration about how FRESS works. Now let's go over what comes with the nano generator FlexS. Aside from the mount itself, you get air tubing, fluid reservoirs and gaskets, a lipid demo test kit, and a mix for chip. The mix for chip has a circular mark on one side to help you orient it on the mount. As you insert the chip, ensure the mark is on the left hand side of the setup. Now we can insert the fluid reservoirs. The smaller paired ones should be closer to you. These are the inlets for your reagents. Load the right reservoir with your lipid solution and the left with aqueous buffer. We have dyed ours for increased visibility. Also, you may optionally add 15% extra to the theoretical consumed volume of each inlet. 
The far reservoir is for collecting solution, so it also has a larger capacity of 1 milliliter versus 500 microliters. We recommend loading it with aqueous buffer as an inline dilution. This can improve nanoparticle stability. Cap the reservoirs with the gasket and lock the flex S to ensure a proper seal. We will next connect it to channels 1 and 3 on the iFlow touch. Channel 1 will supply the aqueous pressure, and channel 3 the solvent. The corresponding ports on the Flex S are labeled A and S, with a number matching the chip channel. Here we used chip channel 1, so we need to use the ports A1 and S1. From the home page of our Flex S software, enter new simple recipe. Here you will find several parameters which can be tuned to suit your applications. The total flow rate may be set from 1 to 3 milliliters per minute, while flow rate ratio is locked at 3 to 1. The total volume may be set up to 500 microliters. For higher volumes, please see our FlexM model. The chip channel may be set to whichever ones are currently active. Keep all unused channels off to prevent system leakage. When you are done setting your parameters, Simply save the recipe and it is ready to go. You can find any previously saved recipes in the Saved Recipes menu, and you can monitor the live pressure and flow rate of an active recipe here. The live feed lets you toggle which parameters to track, load previous assay results, export detailed analyses to a flash drive, and more. In any case, a typical recipe will be completed in only a few seconds. From here, you may collect your product from the FAR reservoir for further analysis, such as DOS. Thank you, Perry, for the demonstration. Next, I will share with you a case study using Flex S to synthesis mRNA lipid nanoparticles for T cell transfection. First, we use EGFP mRNA as a payload and encapsulate in a lipid mixture with ionizable lipid. The size of the mRNA LNP product is about 67 nanometer. The PDI is only 0 0.1. The encapsulation efficiency is 94% based on the ribbon green RNA assay. Next, we use this mRNA LNP to transfer jacket cells. After 48 hours, we capture the image of jacket cells. The green fluorescent and bright blue photos are shown here. You can see that most of the jacket cells grow brightly and the transfection efficiency is pretty high. Next, we use this mRNA LMP for primary T cell transfection. You may see that only after 16 hours, 98.5 of the T cell population have been transferred and expressed GFP. This is the flow cytometry figure from the results. Last but not the least, I would like to wrap up for today's webinar. Lipid nanoparticle is a powerful tool for drug delivery, especially for delicate biomolecules such as mRNA, DNA, and proteins. Nanogenerator Flex S system can provide you a convenient and reliable solution to prepare your lipid nanoparticle samples. It has excellent performance and efficiency. It's an open platform. Setup is very simple. The system comes with integrated pumps, touch screen, and user-friendly interface. Its size is very compact and portable. No mention that the cost is affordable and very efficient. For more information, please visit us at www.pcgenome.com. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.